Jalen Walker case. All eight police walking free after shooting 94 bullets, 46 of which hit our brother. I better never hear the word activist come out of your mouth again. Now to the Akron family, and our heart go out to Jalen Walker's family. What are we doing in Akron about this? That's what I want to know. What is the black church in Akron doing about this? What are the black politicians in Akron doing about this? What are the black grassroots organizations in Akron doing about this? What are the black businesses in Af Akron doing about this? Same thing in Atlanta. Say, what are the black churches in Atlanta doing about LaShawn Thompson being eaten by bed bugs? What are our hip hop brothers and rappers and actors in Atlanta doing about the bed bug murder of our brother LaShawn Thompson? What are the community based organizations in Atlanta doing about this? What are we doing about this? Oh, yes, I only am worried about my own people. You damn right. I have tunnel vision. I have tunnel vision. I'm only concerned about what happens to my own race. I have tunnel vision. That's right. I have tunnel vision. I am only concerned about the best interests of African people. I wish harm against no other group. I have no malice for no other group. I have no mal intent for any other group. But I am only concerned about the struggles of African people. I am not you. I am not you. I have not been brainwashed by Islam and Christianity into making me think race don't matter. I have not been brainwashed by Islam and Christianity into thinking race don't matter. I have not been brainwashed by Islam and Christianity into thinking race don't matter. Uh-uh. Race always matter. God made me black and my blackness is a part of my divinity and my blackness is a part of of my ancestry? Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Any institution that separates my melanin energy from my spirituality, anybody who tries to separate my melanin energy from my spirituality will be rejected. The heart and soul of my spirituality is my melanin. If your Bible ain't talking about my melanin, I don't need your Bible. If your Quran ain't talking about my melanin, I don't need your Quran. If your Torah ain't talking about my melanin, I don't need your Torah. We have to stop letting people separate our blackness from our divinity because our blackness is our divinity. This is not a color. It is energy. Melanin is the God molecule. Melanin is our birthright to God. Melanin is our birthright to greatness. The hell I want to belong to a religion telling me to forget about being black. What the hell I want to belong to a religion that tells me to forget about being black. You can fool some of the people some of the time. You can fool all the people some of the time and some of the people all the time. You can't fool King Kong consciousness none of the time. So we talked about Sudan. We stand in solidarity with Sudan. We talked about attorney at war, Alton Maddox, joining the ancestors. I hope my New York City Africans get me the funeral information. And I would love to speak at his funeral because he had a deep influence on me, attorney at war, Alton Maddox. We talked about LaShawn Thompson being eaten by bed bugs. That was an act of genocide. That was genocide. Y'all don't think that was genocide? You don't think LaShawn Thompson's murder, a mentally ill black man being held without a charge, convicted of no crime, 90 days on a misdemeanor, and he dies in pretrial custody over a misdemeanor? He dies in pretrial custody over a misdemeanor. He dies in pretrial custody over a misdemeanor. Eaten alive by bed bugs. You don't think that's genocide? Let me read you the definition of genocide. See, I got to educate you Negroes today. You in definition of genocide. Boom.
definitions. 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 Y'all ready? I'm giving you the United Nations Genocide Convention definition of genocide. I'm giving you the United Nations Genocide Convention definition of genocide. Here we go. Genocide means any of the following acts committed with intent to destroy in whole or in part a national, ethnical, racial, or religious group. A, killing members of the group. A, killing members of the group. You are the jury. I am the, the attorney. Tell me if America is guilty of these definitions of genocide. These are the international definitions of genocide. Y'all ready? Letter A, killing members of the group. Is America guilty? Is the U.S. government guilty of killing or supporting the killing? Number two, causing serious bodily injury or mental harm to members of the group. Causing serious bodily injury or mental harm to members of the group. Causing serious bodily injury or mental harm. You could argue that the whole education system is mental harm. The whole education system is mental harm. Am I wrong, brothers and sisters? Am I wrong? The American public and charter school system is psychological genocide. Am I wrong, brothers and sisters? Am I wrong, brothers and sisters? Let's go to number three. Deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or part. Let me read that one again because that's a bullseye. Let me read that one again because that is a bull's eye. Let me read that one again because that is a bull's eye. Let her see. Deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life, poverty, homelessness, gentrification, unemployment, alcoholism, opioid crisis, crack epidemic, AIDS, COVID, Deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about the physical destruction in whole or part. Case is closed right there. You the jury. Is America guilty or not, brothers and sisters? We the people. We the people. Let's go to letter D. Imposing measures intended to prevent birth within the group. Imposing measures intended to prevent birth within the group. Imposing measures intended to prevent birth within the group. Can somebody say Rainbow Gang? Can somebody say Zia Wade? Can somebody say Rainbow Gang? Can somebody say Zia Wade? Can somebody say Kamala Harris with the rainbow flag? Can somebody say Planned Parenthood? Can somebody say abortion? Can somebody say hysterectomy? Can somebody say infant mortality? Imposion measures intended to prevent birth. The entire rainbow agenda of the Democratic Party. The entire rainbow agenda of the Democratic Party is intended to prevent birth within the group. AIDS to prevent abortion, hysterectomy, poor medical care for pregnant black women, the worst infant mortality rate in the developed world. Brothers and sisters, is America guilty? Now you know why they killed El Haj Malik El Shabazz. Now you know why they killed El Haj Malik El Shabazz. We got two more. We got one more. Y'all ready for this one? This really going to blow you off. Y'all ready for this one? Forcibly transferring children of the group to another group. Forcibly transferring children of the group to another group. Forcibly transferring children of the group to another group. Can somebody say juvenile detention? Can somebody say foster care? Can somebody say adoptive care? Can somebody say child protective services? 
Can somebody say Department of Human Services? Can somebody talk about the caseworkers who be stealing black people's kids from them every day? Can somebody talk about the CPS caseworkers who be stealing black people children from their families every day? Can somebody talk about CPS and how they be stealing black people's children and giving them to white rainbow gangers? Stealing our kids and giving them to white rainbow gangers. Stealing our children and giving them to white rainbow gangers. Brothers and sisters, America is guilty of all five criteria of genocide. The United States government is guilty of all five criteria of the international definition of genocide. But you know what the problem is, brothers and sisters? But you know what the problem is, brothers and sisters? The same Rockefeller empire. The same Rockefeller empire. The same Rockefeller empire that helped finance Planned Parenthood. The same Rockefeller empire that financed Planned Parenthood is the same Rockefeller empire that donated land upon which the United Nations headquarters was built. I'm going to say it again. The same family that financed Planned Parenthood is the same family that helped build the United Nations headquarters. So if you think that the United Nations is going to hold America responsible, if you think the United Nations is going to hold America responsible, when the same Rockefeller empire that financed Planned Parenthood helped build the United Nations, America will never be held accountable for her crimes against humanity. Now, with that being said, with that being said, the next thing I want to talk about. Let's see. Uh, there's something else that was in the news. I want to talk about Jonathan Majors is the new Bill Cosby. I want to go to Jonathan Majors as the new Bill Cosby. And I want to talk about this news article that said a poll was taken amongst nine Africans in America, nine blacks, and they asked Asians they asked anti-African Latinos. They asked Arabs. They asked Chinese and Mexicans and Jews and Anglo-Saxons. Do they believe black people deserve reparations? They asked Americans, do black people deserve reparations? And I want to talk about what all these non-white, anti-black people of color had to say about you because some of y'all still stuck on multiculturalism. Some of y'all still stuck on multiculturalism. So let me tell you what America feels about reparations. Oh, yes. Let me tell you what America has to say about reparations. And then we're going to talk about Jonathan Majors. But before we do, we got to take a station break. Before we do, we got to take a station break. <laughs> 